Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. We have three stories for you this week. But first, I want to send a big congratulations to two very special people. Uh, each year, we offer two drone technology scholarship grants to rising or current college students. And this year's winners are Anjali Zope and Emery Chandler. Uh, Anjali is attending Stanford this year to study computer science. She plans on joining research in areas like the Stanford AI Laboratory and the Center for Automotive Research. And Emery is going into his final year at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in their UAS uh, degree program. Both winners have received a $1,000 grant to help them pursue their dreams uh, within the drone industry. All right, let's get into the stories. First up, four new drones have been added to the Blue UAS list, and I'll get to those specific models, but just to remind you, Blue UAS is an initiative uh, within the Department of Defense, and the Blue UAS program vets and scales commercial drone technology for the Department of Defense. Why is this interesting to us? Well, one reason is about six months ago, the state of Florida published a list of approved drone manufacturers. And that list was just the DOD's Blue UAS list copied into Florida state regulations. And this was a big issue for all of the Florida public safety and emergency response agencies, these state agencies who've invested heavily in drones over the last few years from companies that are not on this approved list, specifically DJI, a Chinese-based company that is the undisputed global leader in the SUAS market, but is perceived as a security threat by federal government agencies, particularly the Department of Defense. So there's a bit of turmoil uh, with this blue UAS list right now, and we're tracking the story. The uh, four drones that were just added to this list are the Wingtra-1 by Wingtra, Spirit by Ascent Aerosystems, EB-TAC by SenseFly, and Alta-X by FreeFly Systems. Uh, it's likely more drones will get added each year. And on to the second story. Many of us think of DJI as a drone company, but they've been expanding their offerings for filmmakers uh, in recent years. Just this week, they released three new products, uh, two gimbals, the RS3 and RS3 Pro, and the DJI Transmission Wireless System. Uh, gimbals are what help to stabilize a camera when the drone, uh, or in this case, the handheld uh, stick thingy, is moving around. They are commonly used in filmmaking. So these gimbals are pretty cool. Specs in the video description below. And with DJI Transmission, uh, that wireless system enables remote camera control and a broadcast mode uh, that helps stream the footage, among other cool features. Lastly, Zipline, uh, known for their medical drone deliveries, released a new detect and avoid system. It uses onboard microphones to give a drone 360 degree awareness while flying. This allows drones to autonomously detect and fly around other aircraft in the airspace. According to Zipline's uh, CTO and co-founder, this new system is the result of years of development and hundreds of thousands of flight hours. We had this brilliant team of applied mathematicians, of signal processing gurus, artificial intelligence folks, hardware folks, who were able to actually dig in on this problem of how could you possibly make microphones on an aircraft hear other aircraft a mile away. Zipline is a pioneer when it comes to drone delivery, and by the sound of it, they are not slowing down when it comes to innovating. Uh, this new system solves many problems when it comes to flying beyond visual line of sight. It may even lead to more drone deliveries. Uh, all right. That's all we have for you this week, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next week.